business and build a boss. This is my dream. And now is the time to step into my destiny. I'm Kyla and this is my corner. Hello everyone and welcome to Kyla's Corner. I'm Kyla and this is my corner. So first and foremost, I want to sincerely, sincerely apologize to all my subscribers, all my friends, all my family, all my supporters, everyone. Because clearly I've been slipping. Please charge to my head and not my heart. The summer has been crazy, okay? Like, I literally have a backup of a backup of a backup of videos that are piled up to the ceiling of content for you guys that is coming. So, it's not obviously going to come in real time, but it is going to come. You are going to find out about my summer, how amazing it was. The finale, I have not forgot about you guys. The finale is on its way as well. But I wanted to push this video out for my college freshmen. I love you guys. Shout out to the class of 2023. Is that right? <laughs> Joking. Shout out to the class of 2022. Okay, y'all lit or whatever. Ooh. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so it'll be literally, y'all, you are stepping foot on campus right now, but it'll be over before you know it. I kid you not. But I wanted to push this video out just for you guys before you start your first day of classes, just so you can be a little bit prepared and a little full of ease for your freshman year of college. This is a big step for you guys, and I want you to be prepared because I wish I was a little bit more prepared, but this is my way of passing the torch. So the finale episode will be up soon next week. I got y'all and then after that you just find out more and more and more about my summer so yeah so actually I am in Chicago right now so live from Chicago here is 10 pieces of advice to college freshmen so first and foremost I Kyla am a graduating senior journalism major sociology minor at the illustrious real HU figure out what that means because I'm not going to tell you because you should know what the real issue is. Hello. But yeah, so I'm a senior. So clearly I have four years of experience. So I am speaking from my freshman year experience, experience that I've learned from others. And I want to push that out to you guys. So number one. Okay, so I'm a little late for moving. But if you haven't moved in already, or if you have moved in and you still have the opportunity, don't bring everything you own to college with you. College dorms, especially freshman year, are this big. They're the tiniest things ever. And you can't fit everything in your rooms. Like, sorry, but you just can't. So if that takes shipping stuff back or you need to get a storage facility and put some of your stuff in it or whatever. Now, when Kyla was a freshman in college, things were a little different. Not as far as rooms being small and sending stuff home, but I literally had too much stuff. I brought my whole life and then some with me to college. But luckily, the dorm room that I stayed in was bigger than the average dorm room. Like, literally, everyone on my hall all had the same size room, and my room was, like, a little bit bigger because it was a storage room, and it got turned into a dorm room. So, shout out to Twitchell, 203. Ooh, that room was a little bigger. So... My roommate and I were able to fit more stuff in it, but all my stuff still didn't fit. So my parents and I had to go to Walmart and get a, a closet that you put together because I had way too many clothes. So I had two closets my freshman year. But I mean, double the clothes. Y'all, come on now. Like, I have to, I gotta. Anyway, next, build relationships make friends in your class and other classes period you cannot be you yourself and you for the next four years or it will be a horrible four years and also your roommate isn't going to be your only friend so don't think that he or she is going to be your only friend branch out find people in your major people in other organizations that you're interested in anything to build relationships with they're so vital they're so essential and they will get you so far you never know the person who you met randomly when you were in the cab and you were sitting by yourself and they were sitting by themselves and you guys sat together that could end up being your best friend for the next four years so that could be somebody who helps you and who knows what but anyway build relationships with people who are your age and people who are not especially upper classmen so to qc11 you know who you are you know what that means 
to the freshmen at my university. I got you. If So we have at our university something called bigs and littles. So essentially it's like, you know, my big brother, my big sister, little brother, little sister, whatever. You use your bigs for a lot of things, for advice, for if you need, you know, a ride to Walmart, or if you need somebody just to help you with your homework, if you need anything, everything, you're going to want somebody who's been established at that university to help you out instead of going in blind with things. If you need to know what professor to take, what professor not to take, all that. So, Stratcom, journalism, I got y'all. Even if you're not, I will still help you to figure it out because that's what I'm here for. So build those relationships, build those bonds because you will need them. And I used them. They were great. My freshman year, I had, actually my cousin was on campus with me. So that was really cool because she was a senior. I was a freshman. So literally, like, she just helped me guide my way through. And she helped me everything I needed when I called her, texted her, and she was there. So I want to be that resource to other people like people were for me. Definitely follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. So my Twitter is at dreamalways. With three underscores at the end, Instagram always dreaming, three underscores at the end. And I'll throw a bonus one in there for you guys at Kyla's Corner on Instagram because that's what this is. Okay, number three. Everyone you come in contact with, you will not leave with. I just want you guys to know that the group of friends who you have your freshman year and you guys are the best of friends, it's very likely that you all won't be. It might be likely that you will be. Everyone's experiences are very different, so don't judge your experiences based off of mine. But, for example, I had a group of friends my freshman year, big group, of, a fairly large group. It was about eight to ten of us, I believe. We were, we all lived on the same hall. We were just the closest. We were always in each other's rooms and going out to eat together and just having a great time. And I had an amazing experience with all of these young ladies. But, some stuff happened. We bumped heads and literally none of well I don't talk to any of them anymore except one or two and there's nothing wrong with that but we went our separate ways and that's that it happens to the best of us and you just move on you build new relationships that's a closed door and that is room for you to open that door again for someone else so just remember that and also think about high school you just finished high school the friend or friends that you had in your freshman year of high school did you graduate and were you still friends all of them yes no probably not maybe so who knows but anyway number four roommates you'll never know you'll never know how it'll go period that's about all i can say it'll be either really good or really bad me and my roommates were roommate sorry me and my roommate my freshman year we were really good friends and then things happened we bumped heads disagreed on some things and now we're not friends anymore it happens but just remember realize understand recognize i just used a bunch of synonyms for the same thing because i want you to know that this is somebody that you have to live with for the next nine months so differences aside if you are going to live together and you're not going to talk then don't talk but don't get in the way of each other because of your own pride or because you don't like her or him because of this and that and all of that it's it's a lot and with class being enough stress on its own you don't want stress essentially at home too so however you can figure that out work that out that is at that time is when you have to really use your people skills and the skills that you have learned in the last 18 or so years of working with people but if you can figure it out figure it out if you can't then at that point is when you use someone you know a big or your dorm director, your, your resident assistant. I was a resident assistant and I had to do a lot of mediation. Use them to your advantage. Okay, number five. Homesickness is real. It is realer than real. But guess what it also is? It's okay. Whether you are 10 minutes away from home or 10 hours away from home, you will still get homesick. You can swear up and down. You're probably laughing at the computer screen or your phone screen. Or you, you look, you're laughing at me right now, right? 
I'm not going to be homesick. I want to be away from my mom and my dad and my brother and my sister and this and that and everything. And that is perfectly fine because it is time for you to gain your independence. But at the same time, there will be times where you're like, dang, I really wish I could have my mom's spaghetti right now. And I can't. Dang, I'm sick. My mom will know what to do. She will nurse me right back to health and I have to figure it all out on my own. Literally homesickness, guys, if it never hits you, homesickness will hit you when you get sick. Physically, mentally, emotionally. I, I got sick. I got tonsillitis and an upper respiratory infection within my first month of being in college. And I'm like at minimum 12 hours away from home. My mom's not coming to nurse me back to health. And I can't go home to get nursed back to health. So guess what 18-year-old Kyla had to do? Figure it out. I mean, of course, you know, went to the health center, antibiotics. I missed plenty of parties. I was drinking a lot of tea. My mom did send me a care package, so shout out to you, mom. Love you. But yeah, she sent me a care package with tea and hauls and all that stuff in it because I was really really sick and then I end up turning around I got tonsillitis like two more times in my freshman year like, it was literally the absolute worst like if nothing else made me miss home that definitely was it because who wants to be sick at college at school at what and ugh, literally all my friends were just going out and partying and I'm like Yeah, so it was horrible, literally. And that's how I sound. Ugh. Number six, join organizations. Organizations are literally how you make those connections I was talking about. That's how you make friends. That's how you meet people. That's how you get big. That's how you everything. If you stay locked up in ABC, Booker T. Washington Hall, you are never going, I mean, yeah, you might meet some people in your dorm, but besides that, you need to get out, you need to meet people, you need to get your name and your face out there. You never know what opportunities, internships, scholarships, all that will present themselves. Like, when I was, my freshman year, I would literally have been active the last four years on my campus. Like, I was always in so many organizations. Like, my freshman year, I was one of, like, don't quote me on this, but I was one of like five freshmen in the Student Government Association, SGA. And shout out to Women's Caucus. Love you guys. It's the women's branch of the Student Government Association. So I was one of a couple of freshmen who were a part of that. And I have been on SGA for the last four years. So that's the organization I've been in for the longest. But in addition to that, I was on the Freshman Executive Council. And I was... Um, I ran for class president. I didn't win. I didn't even make it to the ballot because I got disqualified. But that's really not the point. It clearly just wasn't meant for me, honestly. Like, I'm being funny, but I'm being serious. Like, it just wasn't meant for me. It wasn't my time. It sucked because I really wanted to do what I wanted to make a change in my freshman class. But after that, I kind of lost all motivation. So my sophomore through senior years, I didn't run again. I just didn't really care to. But that was okay because so many other opportunities presented themselves throughout my freshman through senior years that if I was class president, I might not have had time for those opportunities. So I'm definitely grateful for that. But I also was a part of the National Association of Black Journalists, which, you know, that's my major. So that's our organization that, you know, we all come together because we have one common goal, one common interest, you know. So I definitely did a lot in addition to taking 18 credit hours. That is a full course load. So my freshmen, don't do that. You got that one for free. And ooh, here's another bonus. Ooh, sorry, you just gonna keep getting them. Don't take an 8 a.m. I know, I already know. Oh, you know, but I was up at 6 a.m. in high school and then I just, I was at school by seven and class started at eight and I was out of school by three and college is another animal. I promise you if you take an 8 a.m., you will hate yourself. You know how I know that? No, I didn't take an 8 a.m. when I was a freshman in college. I took a 7 a.m. A 7 a.m. class my freshman year, first semester. Don't ask me how. And I had an 8 a.m. after that, so actually, yeah, I did take an 8 a.m. But I took a 7 a.m. class, 
and ooh child next be you it's literally that simple everyone won't like you for it but guess what you need to be the best you that you can be and that's it because there will be so many people that will love you for it and people that will hate you for it but guess what that's life and that's what college teaches you life lessons period point blank so in addition to that everyone who is or isn't like you but at my university we are very big on where you're from so repping your region so I never knew the regions were broke up like this because I was always like oh you know Michigan Detroit like oh you know that's northern I'm from the north okay but then I was kind of like oh when they said Midwest I'm like oh wait but I'm kind of Midwest too whatever but yes yeah, so our regions so the DMV which is DC Maryland and Virginia apparently that's a region so hey but New York and like Jersey all of that that's the north Midwest oh shout out to the Midwest you know that's Michigan Illinois Minnesota all that Midwest West Coast Cali and Arizona and all that and of course the south side where I go to school and where pretty much everybody's from and we all know where the south is and the Louisiana's and Texas and Florida's and Virginia's so those are the regions we rep our region to the fullest we have a competition called Battle of the States where you compete with your region and you, I can't even explain it, but I'll link the video up top to my year because it was amazing and you have a theme that, you know, goes with your region and all that. And my year, we did the Wiz, you know, Kansas. So, you know, that's Midwest and it was dance, fashion and talent. So that was really cool. So we couldn't have, um, Battle of the States or bots my junior year, but they had something that was similar to it. And, you know, they still did, um, they did like a Kanye West, Midwestern type team thing. Number eight, stay focused. I don't care how many distractions come up. There will always be another party. There will always be another date. There will always be another, everything else that's trying to distract you. But if you have a paper that is due, at the end of the week and you haven't started it yet what are you doing literally what are you doing not that paper but that's what you need to be doing you need to manage your time so effectively like I cannot stress that enough period you need to stay focused and literally like once you go to one party it's kind of like you've been to them all so yeah just take that into account because you'll end up seeing the same people doing the same things and it gets boring really quickly so yeah just stay focused period peer pressure is, is whack like i thought we left that in middle school or high school but people still pressure people to try to do things whether it's liquor drugs partying cheating on tests and skipping class and whatever if that's not you like I said earlier, be you. If you don't do that, don't do it now. Don't try to be something or someone you're not to try to get friends because you're going to get those friends based on doing those things and you're going to hate yourself. You're not going to like them really and you're just going to be stuck in a fakeness. And that's just weird. It's fake. It's un... Just don't do it. Last but not least, have fun. College... Literally, everyone says it. I know you've heard it a million times. Here's a million and one. College is, will be the best four years of your life. There will be ups and downs. So you cannot compare my college experience to yours, to hers, to your mom's, to your dad's, to your sister's and your cousin's and your best friend's, auntie's, sister's cousin. You can't. You won't. Because you'll never have the same story. My story is so unique to me. And... That's, I think, what makes my college experience so special. Did I love my college experience for the last four years? Absolutely not. It was so much that I hated about it. It was so much I wish I could change. Would I go back and change it, though? No, because it's made me a bigger, a better, a wiser, a smarter, more brilliant, bold, unique individual. And that's what life is about, what college is about. And I'm, I'm graduating on May 12, 2019. Say the date. 
with all of that under my belt and I can take that and use all of those experiences to my advantage and I'll be forever grateful and for the ups the downs the lefts the rights the ends the outs all of it well that's it I hope you all took something from these 10 plus a bunch of bonus pieces of advice to college freshmen if you have any other questions comment them below make sure you like comment and share this video with your friends with your fellow freshmen all that shout out to QT11 HU class of 2022 yeah so I love you all I love all the freshmen out there if you guys ever need anything have any advice at me mention me comment whatever you need to do just make sure you get it done and stay successful get that degree get that bank get that bread secure the bag until next time thank you for watching Kyla's Corner